Some of y'all been worshipped since you was in high school, so you don't really know how to grind. <laughs> like, you talk grind. Like, I, I love it. Like, I go into the weight room, and y'all playing like Pac. Y'all playing Biggie. Like, y'all all in it. Like, you like you like Pac, but you don't have the spirit of Pac. You like love Pac. You like listening to Pac. You like listening to Biggie. You like to talk about the grind, but you don't really know what the grind's like. I know what the grind is like. I was homeless. I ain't out of trash can. Now, go on, go on the internet right now. I'm one of the number one speakers in the world. I started from the bottom. Like, you like listening to it and see. Started from the bottom. Now, your, what's your bottom? What is your bottom when you've been worshipped since middle school? You've been tall your whole life, big your whole life. They worship you so much now that you think it's about you. You don't even know what the grind look like. I'm from Detroit, homeless. Mama got pregnant with me at 17 years old, high school dropout. Took me 12 years to get a four-year degree. I'm coming now. It's in view. You finally made it to the big leagues, and now you want to chill? Now you got the big head? Now you can't grind? You here now. You here now, you finally made it. And this is where you, you break up? This is where you start chilling? This is where you get comfortable? You made it now. You made it now. You in the big leagues now. They watching you now. This is where you make it permanent. Yeah, I saw it, I saw it. Perfect, perfect, nope. Practice don't make perfect. Practice make permanent. This permanent, y'all. This is permanent. You can go wherever you want to go from here. It does not take talent. You don't have to be talented, right? You don't have to be gifted. You don't have to be the quickest, the strongest. You don't have to be the most intelligent to get to where I am. That's what you got to do. You just got to grind, though. Your grind, you got to outgrind. So many of you heard me say this. Your father, listen to me, might own a company. Your mama might be a millionaire. You might come from privilege. Your daddy might hook you up with a car. He might know people. He might be able to get you a job. But you will not outwork me. And what you have to decide in your position in the NCAA, you have to make a decision that nobody in this league in your position will outwork you. Listen to me. You better grow up and get to the point as a man that if you ever get beat, you better get beat by somebody that's just, that's just purely more talented than you are. You better not ever get beat by somebody because you beat yourself. You have to take advantage of an opportunity of a lifetime in the lifetime of the opportunity. Let me tell you something. You sit in this room, you think you're going to be 18 for the rest of your life. You think you're going to be 19 for the rest of your life. You got an opportunity right now that you won't have five years from now. You have an opportunity right now that you'll never have. People say, why you grind so hard, E? I might not be the number one motivational speaker in the world five years from now. I got to get everything I can get right now. Every book I can write. And listen to me. My school is being paid for by the athletic department. I'm hot right now. Right here. You may never get another one. Some of you, after this, there may not be another opportunity. Let me tell you what I tell athletes. The worst thing in the world is not growing up in poverty. The worst thing in the world is growing up in poverty and coming here and getting worshipped and not taking advantage of this and you got to go back to the hood. That's, that's the worst thing that could ever happen to a bro. Traveling and being in hotels and seeing the world and eating like you eating and not taking advantage of this and getting kicked out and going back home to the hood. Being somebody that they talk about because you were sweet for four years. You better not lose this. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. Your grandma counting on you to do the right thing. Your mama counting on you. Your cousins. Your brothers and sisters are counting on you to, to cash in on this opportunity. Everybody want to be a beast until it's time to do what beasts do. Everybody want to be a beast. Everybody got a lion. Tattoos of lions. Lions all on their Twitter face, but everybody got the lion thing now they tweet now. Rawr. But when it's time to practice, you ain't on beast mode. When it's time to watch film, you ain't on beast mode. You ain't watching your dude. Let me say this and I'm getting out of here. Can I be real with y'all? Most of y'all think that a lion is who he is because of how ferocious he is when he catch that gazelle, when, when he catch that zebra. Can I be real with y'all? I want y'all to study this when y'all finish to tell me if I'm telling the truth. If a lion see an animal that's wounded or a real hunter see an animal that's wounded, what do they do? They do what? They watch them, but they don't do what? They don't kill them. Why don't they kill them? He already heard, and they beast. <laughs> a part of being a beast just ain't eating a gazelle. A part of being a beast is the hunts.
It's the hunt that they're excited about. They like to see the gazelles run. Then boom, they take off. Do you know that even before the gazelles get there, that the lions start listening to the gazelle? They plan and they all stop and they steal and they wait for the gazelle to come. Do you know that they take a couple gazelle, couple lions and say, y'all go that way, and then boom, y'all chase the gazelle. Don't even eat them. Just chase them and bring, make them come this way. And when they get this way, they playing games. Because real lions like to hunt. They love the process just as much as they love the prize. And some of y'all just want to score. You don't like the process. You're not in love with the process. You just like to put the pass on. You love when it's showtime. Everybody in the crowd, you're like, hey, hey, hey. Mom, can you see? You can't even start until you know your people there. Once you see them, you're like, showtime. A real man in the dark, when nobody's watching, he putting in work. A real man, when coach ain't even watching, he's studying film on his own. Cause he's, he loves the process. If you will be a champion, if you will be a beast, you're gonna have to go through something. Ain't nobody gonna hand you nothing. Ain't nobody gonna hand you no championship. Ain't nobody gonna hand you no title. So this is my year, I end, this is my year. Listen to me, say be phenomenal, this is it. I want you to chant it out. This is it. Be phenomenal or be forgotten. One, two, three. Be phenomenal, be forgotten. One, two, three. Be phenomenal, be forgotten. Last time. One, two, three. Be phenomenal, be forgotten. That's my time, guys. Thanks, folks. Thanks, folks. Thanks, folks.